What's up traders? What's up tycoons? Super excited for today's video. We're going to talk about Bitcoin, okay? Now Bitcoin is seeing a continued rally, a huge boost, especially from today. Fed Chairman Jerome Powell says Bitcoin has staying power as an asset class. And in the Binance lawsuit, okay, Bitcoin is actually listed as a commodity and deemed a commodity, not a security, which is big news. And Jerome Powell is quoted saying, we do see payment stable coins as a form of money, adding that the ultimate source of credibility and money is the central bank. Now, they are pushing their central bank digital coin, CBDC, all right? They are pushing the Fed now. But this is big news for cryptocurrency and Bitcoin as a whole, right? And it's no surprise we're seeing Bitcoin pump with news headlines such as that, as well as these, okay? Uh, with news about a new crypto exchange being backed by Fidelity, Schwab, and Citadel, and it launches with new additional investors, okay? Um, so that's a really, really big change in the crypto atmosphere and you know, really the environment and the sentiment. We're seeing Bitcoin jumping on speculation. BlackRock may know something, all right? We've seen at least three issuers have filed plans since BlackRock filing. The SEC has resisted allowing spot Bitcoin ETFs in the past, citing risks. But ex Barclays CEO praises BlackRock Bitcoin ETF filing. All right, crypto's growth is just a natural part of an increasingly digitized world, says Bob Diamond. So we're going to dive into the Bitcoin chart right now and show you guys what's been going on with the price. As always, the content provided on this channel is for informational and educational purposes only and is not intended to be relied upon as legal, financial or investment advice. So be sure to read through the full disclaimer. Now, if we look at our daily time frame here, um, <clears throat> something that I want to just start highlighting to people is that, you know, trading, right, whether it's in cryptocurrency, whether it's in the stock market, believe it or not, is highly influenced by algorithms, okay? Um, you know, over half of the market trading is all done by algorithms, whether you believe it or not. The large institutions are using algorithms to, you know, fill orders. And what you're going to see is you're going to see these algorithmic channels, okay? And you're going to be able to spot buying channels and selling channels, okay? And you get this concept of liquidity grabs, which I've been showing this on the Bitcoin chart. You know, we established this buying structure here, right? We have this buying algorithm clearly identified here. And we break through here. And what happens is this is a big liquidity grab for the next move up, right? Okay, so the algorithms established here, we have this buying algorithm and it doesn't have the liquidity needed to push price from here around 23,000 all the way up to 30,000, right? It doesn't have the liquidity it needs. So what happens is market makers trigger people's stop losses, they gather the liquidity they need, and then we see the actual push up higher. And there's different ways you can help prevent the, you know, missing out on these opportunities. One way is, is using the FIBs, okay, the Fibonacci retracement levels. So basically, you know, nothing moves in a straight line down and nothing moves in a straight line up. You get a move up retracement continuation higher or a move down retracement continuation lower. And you can see we have the swing low, we have the swing high, we move up, we retrace here right around to that 50% retracement level. And then we continue that uptrend higher and hit the bullish price targets that we had. OK, and up here we establish a new buying algorithm. Right. And now the algorithm wants to actually push price lower. OK, and there's actually a selling algorithm in here that we'll go ahead and show you guys in a second here. But what do we see again? We see another breakout from the algorithmic structure. All right. And that structure takes us lower. All right. In a very controlled selling phase. And where do we do? We come back down to the bottom of the original buying algorithm here. And what do we see? Another liquidity grab right around that 50 percent retracement level. So we if you take a look, we have the supply zone here, too, as well. All right. Uh, old supply becomes new demand. So supply here, supply here. We continue to push down. We break out, retest that old supply zone. It's new demand. Perfectly aligned with our 50% retracement level here. We have a liquidity, a liquidity grab on the buying algorithm and you see the huge massive pump to the upside. So um, I want to actually head on over to TradingView real quick, okay? And um, just kind of show you guys how to be able to spot some of these things, okay? So let's, let's drag this down out of here, all right? And there's controlled selling too, okay? So you have to be able to spot the controlled selling structures and the controlled selling algorithms, okay? Um, you know, we have the pump up right here, and then you have to be very cautious trying to short here because what is this? This is all controlled selling, right? You have this nice clean structure, okay, and then you get the breakout, right? We enter the supply zone, the area of liquidity right here for the next move down. 
Okay, this is a prior supply zone area of liquidity. And we move back down, okay? And that ultimately is our selling structure, okay? We have this nice selling algorithm here, but it's within the larger buying algorithm, okay? We induce that liquidity grab here, all right? And bears got suckered in right through this area here. And what do we see? Massive move to the upside. We get that new structure here, new buying algorithm. We see the liquidity grab. And what do we get? We get another controlled selling, okay? This is controlled selling, guys. This is algorithmic selling, all right? This is not, you know, um, you know what you're seeing, those massive liquidity crashes and different things like that that you saw in 2022, all right? These are very controlled selling algorithmic structures. And you can spot these structures. And once you spot those structures, then you can look for the breakout and you can look for the new buying algorithm, okay? And so you can see here, you know, we broke the bottom of this initial buying structure, had that liquidity grab right here at the 50% retracement, as well as the old supply zone that's now new demand. And we're pushing up and we're back inside of this buying algorithm right here. So this is our new structure that we're in at the moment, okay? And we're gonna see if we continue to push up into this area, we have a new liquidity zone right over here, okay? Up to about 32,675 on Bitcoin, right around 32,000, okay? That also aligns perfectly with our 1272 Fibonacci extension bullish price target, okay? And if we break through this liquidity zone here, all right, and we don't see sellers step in and push price lower. All right, we could head up to 33,271 and 35,252. Okay, so you know, it's very easy to get fooled in these markets. All right, uh, we have not created a higher high right here, so we do need to be cautious of a potential double top. Okay, uh, you want to look for these type of signals. Okay, double top potentially here. You need to be cautious of that. All right, if we pull back, but if we start to create a higher high. All right, and we do something like this. We put in a high and we put in a higher high up here. What we're going to do is we're going to come up with new Fibonacci levels, okay? So we held support at the fibs here. We held support at the fibs here. If we were to make a new high, we would simply take our fib tool, all right? Connect it to our most recent lows and connect it somewhere up here to the new highs. And if we change this over here to yellow, as the other ones are yellow, you can see this would give us some new Fibonacci levels right here that we would look for once we establish and put in a new high whether that new high is up here here or here wherever that new high is and we put in a new top on bitcoin that's where we're going to put the new fib levels and look to see do we get another 50 percent retracement and the continuation of the trend or do we break through the fib levels and get a reversal okay that is how uh, how you can spot a reversal okay if you break through these levels right and you break through them that's how you spot the reversals back to the downside. But rather than breaking through them, okay, and doing something like this, we've moved up, retraced, and continued the bullish uptrend. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, learned something new, all right? Remember, look for the structure, spot the algorithms, notice controlled selling, all right? When you see controlled selling, um, that's bullish, okay? That's not like some bearish indicator. That's controlled selling, and you tie everything all together, okay? And you can see that we came up here, we had a liquidity grab, all right? And we pushed things down very algorithmically. Notice the structure, okay? Back to our demand zone, all right? Old supply zone becomes new demand over here. We had controlled selling to this area of liquidity. We had a liquidity grab, and that's where we ultimately pushed up higher. Hopefully you guys can start to spot these signals. And if you enjoyed this video, smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for more.